We're back now with a story that got us all talking and thinking today. It's a fascinating new study about the mysteries of death. What happens to our brains and bodies and what it might really be like to die. Ann Thompson explains. The moments after death. Mr. Pendleton, you know where you are, don't you? Hollywood imagined Warren Beatty greeted by James Mason and Buck Henry in Heaven Can Wait. Flatline. Kiefer Sutherland and Kevin Bacon revisited their sins in Flatliners. So was it, Dave? Was today a good day to die? Mary Curran Hackett experienced none of those things. It was like almost going home, and there was nothing to be afraid of. The Cincinnati writer's heart stopped for several minutes in the hospital in 2004. When I could see everything, feel everything, hear everything, even though I know now I was medically dying. I felt an overwhelming rush and almost a, a pressure being pulled, like almost like a force field being pulled back into my body. And then I woke up and saw the doctors that I had been seeing <laughs> working on me. Experience like Hackett's part of a new scientific study published today. It found people who went into cardiac arrest and were brought back to life by CPR Almost 40% had a recollection of dying. NYU's Dr. Sam Parnia is the lead researcher. We found signs of normal brain electrical activity that is consistent with the types of things that we all have when we're fully conscious. What does your study show about what happens to the brain after the heart stops? Contrary to the way that doctors have been taught, that after the heart stops, the brain does not die. It hibernates and it shows that the ability to recover even an hour longer afterwards. Parnia and Hackett are working on a book. Parnia hopes it will spur new innovation in resuscitation technology. Hackett hopes it will make us think. If you talk about how you're going to die or what's going to happen when you die, it frames how you are going to live and what could be more impactful. As science tries to unlock the mystery of death. Ann Thompson, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.